Let's just keep honest people honest. Marie Teresa. Daddy is RV. Alaina Sandovici. Lauren Luna. Rodney D. Butler. Hugo Perez. Amy Cummins. Flux the artist. Lex Simone. Brandy Unz. Amy Malkin. Jean Barron. Teresa L. Staley. And Monique LaRue. This next artist I met through some mutual collectors. They told me how they knew another lady cop and artist because I used to be a police officer myself. <laughs> Not really, I, I, I was one. <laughs> Women in law enforcement is rare enough and at times a challenge, so we definitely connected in that sentiment. We became friends on social media and I got to chat with her and see her really calm, serene, and beautiful art. She took me on a field trip outside of Houston though, to Richmond, Texas, where she currently has gallery representation, but still does shows and is very active in the Houston art community. Let's go check her out. Can you introduce yourself? Oh, we started? Yeah, but we can start over. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, ready, ready. I'm a local artist um, and I started approximately three years ago um, but I've always done art you know decorating painting furniture redoing the, you know as well as uh, I was a dancer for many years and I um, I just decided well, let me try it on canvas but during the day I am a police officer um, and I've been doing that for a little over 20 years and what art does is it kind of helps me get through some of the stressors, especially now. Um, and it's just kind of a release for me. So that's kind of who I am. And I'm, and I'm a mom. So that's what I am in a nutshell. That's, that's Amy Cummins. <laughs> what do you like about the Houston art scene? I think that the Houston art scene is so vibrant and I mean anywhere you go it seems there's art they're putting art on you know the electrical boxes and even the if murals. yes the murals even if it's graffiti you know it's still um or maybe not necessarily the tagging which is not good but <laughs> right <laughs> or from this when you have permission <laughs> right but the graffiti you know there's some amazing artists out there and it's just really something to see and you think how can somebody think of to do something like that you know and i always try and stretch my thoughts of you know um, skills and abilities or whatever and i'm like man this still doesn't go there you know they're so cool i just love it love to see all the different stuff where did you get your first art started in houston well, I had started painting on canvas uh, for family and friends, and, and I was I was beginning to put my work out on Facebook, and it's kind of weird because I did a presentation um, for law enforcement, and a person in the audience happened to be um, uh, happened to be an owner of a magazine, a local magazine. Well, so we chit-chatted out in the parking lot about different things and how, you know, I'm an artist and, and all of this. And then she said, well, you should connect with this person, this particular person on Facebook. And he's a sculptor, Jay Jax. And, and he's a sculptor. And I was like, oh, okay. So I friended him and he, you know, he accepted. So there's that, you know, that wonderful Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, I had 
put a painting that I did and it's, I use a lot of texture and stuff. And so I put it out there and next thing I know, he messages me and he said, if this is the kind of work that you do, then I want you in my, you know, in our, in the art machine gallery. Uh, pretty much is how it, how it was. And um, that's really how I kind of got my start in the, the big, the big league, so to speak. So I love it. Yeah. How do you feel about being an artist during COVID-19 and the current events? Well, you know, being a police officer, I, we see a lot of things and a lot of different change and helping people with the problems and all these different things. So, and, you know, I remember whenever I went to the academy uh, about 22 years ago, they said, you know, what if somebody says something negative to you or just calls you a name or, you know, to, you oh, know. I got that question too. Yeah. yeah and, <laughs> and you're like, you just don't let it, you kind of, you know, that's what we put up that wall. So we don't really think about it. You know, you, it's not personal because they don't, they don't know me personally. Because personally, I'm, you know, I'm funny. I'm down to <laughs> earth. I'm, you know, I'm a nice person. Yeah, you are. And, you know, they don't see that part. They just see me in a uniform and what I, what I, stand for. Or, or, or what they assume you stand for. Right, what they assume that I stand for. I got in this job to make a difference in people's lives and that's always how I feel that I need to make a difference. Uh, help one person and I remember an academy instructor, he said, Jill, I said, he said, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to make a difference. And he said, one person can't make a difference. And we got into an argument in class and I said, I will make a difference. And he said, no, one person cannot make a difference. I said, you are absolutely wrong. And I have proven that for the last 20, well, to, you know, that. almost 21 years. You can make a difference in how you treat others. You know, kindness, hatred can spread, but so can kindness. Yeah. You know, treat people right. Treat them with respect. It doesn't matter what you look like, you know, what, how you, you know, wear your hair, what. Believe in. The way you believe in, what sex you, you like, you know, whatever. Yeah is just be just be just a good be person kind. yeah yes and and uh, have you know have that empathy and compassion and mind your business you know <laughs> you mind, your, mind your dang business as people say <laughs> stay in your lane so what do you think the world needs more of in this time i think that the world needs more understanding more accepting of others. For sure. Um, get out of your proverbial um, box that you want to put yourself in. I think that the world is supposed to be like this and everybody like me is supposed to be in this box and that's it. People all over the world, we're all different, all, you know, all different nations and ethnicities and, and whatever. and you know, just like the Beatles, you know, I, I live and let live. That's always how I live my life. It is none of my business what somebody else is doing as long as it's not affecting me or hurting anyone else. Amen. You know, so I just, um, I just do my own thing and, and um, that's it. And I think if more people worried about themselves or took care of themselves, but you know, and maybe worry less and just try to help in kindness and, and all of that a little bit more, then this world will be a little bit happier place to live. Yeah, we can all get a little bit further together. Yes, together. I think that what we need less of is we need to stop depending so much on social media and the, the one-sided media that you know, we, we hear one side of the story and then, but it's totally different on the other side. Mm -hmm. We need more unity. We, we can't, we have so much division. We need to stop the division of so many things, politics, religions, this, that. This is everything. Yes, and it's just, it's tiring. And every time you look on social media, 
if you run a business, you really can't be without it. I'm like, I want to get off Facebook. I want to get off of that. Just, you know, get outside or just be with, you know, in the moment with my son and my, you know, my family and friends or whatever. But it's like, you look around and everybody's on their phones. And, and I, you know, I'm one of them. And, and I'm thinking, get off the phone. Pay attention to what's happening now. Enjoy life. Yes, enjoy life. And, and I, I think that even though we've grown as a society with more electronics and more knowledge in that, we've also kind of... Taken some step backs, personally. Taken, yes, taken a step back into, you know, being able to talk to somebody face-to-face. -face. Some people are losing that skill, you know, so I think... Uh, <laughs> let's Catfish. Technology. Yeah. <laughs> message to the world. It is the same that it's always been since the day I started become the day that I, I became a sexual assault advocate. And no matter what I'm doing in life, it is the same. That no matter what happens to you in the past, you can learn, you can become stronger, you can use that for strength, and only you decide how your life is going to be. You are in control of your destiny. Sometimes, you know, well, people will believe that, you know, your life is already planned out because they say that God has already planned their life. In a way, you know, I believe that, but also um, I believe that because I, I follow a lot of Buddhist teachings and it's if you want something done, if you want something to happen, no one is going to give that to you. It's not going to just poof and happen and land in your lap or whatever. You've got to make it happen. I recently created um, or had a thought of, you know, different ways to um, get my art out there and um, keep growing my business and, and my name. And this is one of the recent projects that I did was I, I did a, uh, a little a little book, a little, just tells a little bit about my art story and has some of my art in there. So I'm pretty proud of it. And um, it is for sale, by the way. Where can we find it? Um, you can, well, you can either email me or I'm on Facebook. You can message me, uh, Amy Cummins Fine Art, as well as my website, amycumminsfineart.net. And just let me know if you'd like a copy and I'll mail it on out to you. Isn't Amy just the sweetest? And she has so much insight to offer through her life experiences, which I could easily relate to given our shared career interests. But now it's time to head back to Houston, but to the north side. This next artist is very unique. His work has gotten the controversial stamp, but he's very true to sharing his thoughts and opinions about the world we live in. And I want to tell you guys a little bit how we met. So I can't wait for you guys to meet this next Houston artist.